Tesla Semi and Cybertruck get real boost from California with new truck program. California has adopted its new zero emission truck program, which should help accelerate electric truck, uh, car production and deployment and greatly benefit Tesla Semi, Cybertruck, as well as other electric trucks. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com with very exciting news about Tesla Semi and Cybertruck from California. But before I get started, I want to let you know that I'm again joined with my eight-year-old daughter, Maria, my darling sweetheart, and she wants to say hi. Hi, everybody. I'm Maria Haryan. Um, and please subscribe and hit the like button and turn on your notifications so you know whenever my dad posts a new a new video please do you enjoy sitting with me when i report news yeah very good so friends uh, thank you maria uh, in many markets trucks represent an important source of pollution it's certainly the case in california where trucks are responsible for 70 percent of the smoke caused pollution and 80 percent of carcinogenic diesel soot even though they number the number only two they number only two million among the 30 million registered vehicles in the state in order to remedy the situation the california air resource board has officially adopted a clean truck standard the first of its kind it's called carb c-a-r-b c-a-r-b char um, chair mary nichols commented on the initiative saying quote for decades, while the automobile has grown cleaner and more efficient, the other half of our transportation system has barely moved the needle on clean air. Diesel vehicles are the workhorses of the economy, and we need them to be part of the solution to persistent pockets of dirty air in some of our most disadvantaged communities now is the time the technology is here and so is the need for investment end of the quote the crop program is similar to carbs zev program for passenger cars which has made california the leader in electric vehicles in the united states the clean truck program will force manufacturers of class 2b these are the larger pickup trucks and class 8 chassis which are the semi trucks to gradually increase the percentage of electric trucks they sell starting in 2024 obviously Cybertruck is a class 2b truck and tesla semi is class 8 truck so they wrote in the new program the following here's a quote from that program zero emission truck sales manufacturers who certify class 2b and 8 chassis or complete vehicles with combustion engines would be required to sell zero emission trucks as an increasing percentage of their annual california sales from 2024 to 2035 by 2035, zero emission trucks and chassis sales would need to be 55% of class 2B, three straight truck sales, and 75% uh, of class 4A straight truck sales, um, and 40% of truck, tra uh, truck tra uh, tractor sales. Friends, my reading, I understand, is not a little perfect, so I will put these quotes in my description of this video so you can exactly see what the quote says. The regulation is estimated to bring over 300,000 electric trucks, including 17,000 semi-trucks to California by 2035. By 2045, they want every new truck sold in California will be zero emissions. Imagine what this means for Tesla Semi and for Tesla Cybertruck. But I think by 2045, I believe the entire US automotive sector may be only producing um, electric cars. That's my opinion. What do you think? Now, while this sounds like great news, I'm not sure it will have a great impact immediately. Certainly not anything like the ZEV regulations had on passengers' electric cars. They are giving truck manufacturers a break by only starting the requirements in 2024, even though several electric trucks are expected to come out in the next few years. But I think personally in 2024, that also makes sense because 
you need to give time until electric car manufacturers start making these electric cars and they are widely uh, adopted by car buyers and truck buyers. I think those electric trucks like the Tesla Cybertruck, which is a class 2B, and Tesla Semi, which is a class 8 semi truck, are going to be popular regardless of the new rule and likely cover the requirement. Tesla even argued with CARB that the requirements for class 2B vehicles should be included sooner in the program because of electric pickups like the Cybertruck coming to market as soon as 2021. In short, I think all electric trucks are going to get so much better than diesel trucks in the next few years that all new trucks are going to be electric by 2045 regardless of this new program. As a matter of fact, I also think all new trucks are going to be electric by 2030 I because you know we're talking about 10 years. I think in 10 years, uh, the transportation and mobility will change greatly. It's quite simple. As soon as they enable long distances, which seem around the corner, and the cost of ownership drops below diesel trucks, it would make no sense for a fleet operator to buy anything else. Gas is past. Electric and renewable is the future. Let me know what you think, friends, about these timings and about these new roles and their effect on Tesla Semi and Cybertruck. I think this, this should be a huge boost for Tesla. Now, I think once the numbers are public, the ch change will be fast. Annual fuel cost can easily be over 75,000 75, per year. Going electric could cut that cost on half for truck operators, for semi-truck operators. Once truckers see those numbers from their electric vehicle truck driving bodies, they will be dumping their diesels and they will go for electric. This is when Tesla Semi and Tesla Cybertruck will become very popular, as well as other electric uh, truck companies. And we see that new truck companies are being coming forward and new cars are being made electric. Another question is this. Is this regulation also part of the California clean vehicle regulations that other states follow or is it separate? So these other states will need to introduce similar measures if they want clean trucks too, not just clean cars. What do you think about this, friends? In addition to those production requirements, it is likely that the biggest cities will require electric vans for city deliveries and probably move to 100% battery electric vehicles for taxis and buses, and buses too. All professional and municipal vehicles actually and maybe long before these legacy trucks and van makers have much to offer so the sales would go to more opportunistic manufacturers such as Tesla. If these legacy, legacy manufacturers don't get serious quick on battery electric vehicles. I don't think 2024 is akin to giving them a break though, more like a wake up call if they want to survive. But this will have a great impact because everybody, car drivers, truck drivers, other states, other countries are actively watching how this is evolving and in the mind of people, if large electric trucks can demonstrate that they save more money than diesel ones, they will be adopted by and large everywhere and even hesitating car drivers will follow. I think by 2025, you will probably see large autonomous fleets of the Tesla Semi, Nikola Tre and Ica Skazia on the Pacific Coast Highway or in the US highways in general. The question that needs to be answered is this, where will these trucks charge? Where will these trucks basically refuel? Who is going to spend millions of dollars on each hydrogen station and build several dozens of them up and down in Pacific Coast? And given the cost of commercially produced hydrogen is so expensive, what fleet operators are going to buy the Nikola Tre knowing their cost per mile to operate it will likely be higher than than a conventional diesel truck or the electric truck. Tesla is a big deal. This is a big deal for Tesla and Tesla Semi has several great advantages over its competitors. The first advantage of the Tesla Semi is the autonomy. The second advantage is the battery and Tesla batteries in general, especially in light of the upcoming million mile battery. The third advantage of Tesla Semi is Tesla's charging network and its benefits for Tesla electric trucks fast charging. 
The fourth advantage is the manufacturing scale. Tesla can make the semi faster because the share because it shares some components and parts with the Model 3. The fifth advantage of the Tesla semi is the Tesla's business model of selling directly to the customers. This would likely be invaluable for buyers and semi, particularly as the vehicle will see a lot of use and abuse on the road. By having a straight line to Tesla owners of the semi will be able to address their concerns to the electric maker directly. Well, friends, let me know what you think about these things and what opportunity this new law by California um, may provide for Tesla, Tesla Semi and Tesla Cybertruck. In the meantime, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Um, have a wonderful day. Please subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell. And uh, since my daughter is sitting with me, do you want to say goodbye to everyone? Bye, everybody. And um, please spend time with your kids like I'm doing with my dad. So oh. if they need to go to work, then you you play with them a little bit. Thank you. That was very sweet. Friends, have a wonderful day. Spend time with your children and love your families. And I'll see you in our next report. God bless you and take good care of each other. Bye.